What is going on everybody? Welcome to episode 2 of Telltale Games Batman. Hope you guys enjoy. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. All right, this Not is interested. when we were and in the, reporter uh, for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone. And the fundraiser Falcone is came the Dent in. Yep. Campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime. And that's Vicki Vale, the reporter. Your father knew which hands to shake. There's Falcone. Don't you know not to call him? Hinting that animal. our family was corrupt. It's dangerous. <laughs> Scratched our face and got away. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? <laughs> it's the Waynes. There's the big bomb that dropped. Well, the Waynes are the biggest, biggest gangsters, gangsters in Gotham, Gotham. man. All right, the stormy Gotham night. Helicopters in the air. Can't tell if it's a news helicopter or what, but nevertheless. We're in a back alley. Is this the place where my parents died? You don't have to do this. Oh, demons. Only you now, Master Bruce. Yeah, there's a plaque in the concrete. Crime Alley, 5.38 in the morning. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. They're trashing my family. It's also public this can't be true. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. So did Alfred know? I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. So he is it's just to not it. possible. They're corrupt. That kind I'm of not money corrupt. You kept their you. secrets. My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Wow. Nothing happened in Gotham. You never told me they were together, and I'm the last one to find out. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then. They were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. We're still family. You let me down. I'm not ready to forgive you. Hey! How We're still I family, Alfred. Against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Yeah, I hope you don't, man. No more secrets. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. 
He was simply too well known. Too... Too big. Maybe it wasn't a robbery. Maybe it was... Yes. There it was. Someone got careless. My father had enemies. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. Uh oh. You always said it was a simple mugging. In a twenty more years, to that now. never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Maybe. Let's uh, let's comb the area. Side alley. Look over here. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibility is a frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. And that's my problem because... Okay, graffiti. I don't think this has anything to do with it, but... He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. But it's weird how he didn't shoot me, he didn't shoot the kid. I mean, I guess leave the kids out of it. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Yeah, Bruce, there what are that for that? considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Shot me, but he ran out of time. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why.
getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. You don't want to know. I'm all for blind support, killed. but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Yep. Bruce, that's that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but uh, it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. I realize this is irregular, Lieutenant. I wouldn't ask if there was another way. I'm vouching for him, Gordon. Trust me, he's one of the good guys. A good guy who always gets what they want. Now, in my book, there's no such thing. Okay, Gordon. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. Wasn't she the one that shot at me? <laughs> I was dressed up as Batman. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. See if I can interrogate him and get the truth out of him. A little bit of L.A. noir going on. Episode 2. Bruce Wayne. Good morning. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Uh-oh. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. No, yeah, I'm sure we are. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Convince me, then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine Give him out, morphine? Huh? I'm not giving him morphine, bro. If it gives me the option, I'm not giving you morphine. There it is. Hurt him, ease his pain. 
I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course, you'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? What kind of son did he make? Dent has plans for you. Gordon, too. I won't rob them of that. Good boy. Yeah. That's why you were kept in the dark. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. And if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still, then who can confirm his story? Even it is all rich, including you. If he's lying Some or if he's telling the just truth, have how the do? Mind for it. How would I know? He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Oh, what the heck? They're waiting for you in hell. What? The bastard had to die. Whoa, is In the air, stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! What was that? That happened so fast! And that girl had like veins around her lips. Did she get poisoned? What in the world? Shit. I know you guys can't see me right now, but my jaw literally dropped to the floor time, when that happened. But not oh my god. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord she in our grasp. Him. Montoya this hated close, we were something was wrong with her. close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She had she was so different veins. from the woman we met in the hall. So around her oh, mouth. It's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. Nerve agent, maybe? She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story or someone else will. Then we need the whole story, not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. Nope. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. I'll try to get them, I guess. See, look, she's barely like waking Tell me up if from. She says anything. I have to know why she did this. It wasn't her, Gordon. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Man, good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Fresh injection site. Nope. That doesn't look she like blood. Stick. And the veins around her mouth. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? 
Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Oh, everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. So she I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had like to stop mind that. Control? Or I had to. No matter what. The reasons why I shoulda. They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm guiding me like a parent with a child the voice it mm. was saying something about revolution no idea does batman know cobblepot said something similar i'm so sorry lieutenant i've let you down we stalled falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back how is she did she tell you anything yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcon. <sighs> hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I, I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Sorry. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. There was. You know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you hear that? I'm not gonna answer. Oh, don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit at the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? Yes. I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just Do I answer her? Give me something to run with. I'm not answering her. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Okay. I'm a criminal. Apparently, I'm the bad guy. Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. Yeah, let's see. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in Docs. Ooh, we're gonna let's have to play a little puzzle game. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? 
prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. Hmm. I hope he told you something before he was killed. Not much. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other Show out. the hill? Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Hmm. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. And when you combine Whoever them... Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but... Dragging others to fight them for you. Could make an army. Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Drone search for Oswald's phone signal. Okay, let's see this drone. What am I? Oh, there's something here. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Huh. Find her, find her now, send a strong message. Nothing here, what about up here? Nope. Down over here to the left. Something here, oh. Bring me her head! Bring me her head? <laughs> okay. Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Oh. Batman's interests are just so... 100, you know? Pretty cool. Dropping gloves. If Falcone finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. Oh, who the heck is that? That guy was green. Let him go. Batman! 
It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now. This guy looks like half dead, bro. Bat. Is he a zombie? Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. That's Cap. If you were truly the defender the of the city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know from personal experience. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. You're the rot, I'll deal with Hill. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Hmm. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. The hard so drive, wasn't it? Sorry, this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes. Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big enough. Man. Guys, that did absolutely nothing to him. Oh, my God. Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Make sure you guys like this video for faster uploads.